All right, we have to start this over. I actually had started uh, doing the review of the Harmonic Dine Zeus Elite, and then I was comparing to the Zeus. We all know the Zeus. We all love the Zeus. Zeus is great. High power. Um, the problem was I spent so much time comparing it to the Zeus that I didn't think outside the presumable price range because these are 350, tree 50. And these are the elite and currently $10,000 because they're not for sale yet. And I checked and Linsel didn't tell me how they're gonna cost. So I'm gonna assume they're gonna be a minimum of $50 more. So 400, 450, 500, maybe 500. Can I hear 500? Can I hear 449? I don't know. All I know is it comes in this box, which is just, you know, oh. and look at the wire that they've appointed to it, because this is some, this feels like the highest end of wires, but the build is only slightly improved over the Zeus. And I say improved, but we're going to discuss pads in a second. So let me give, let me give this again. Let me do this again. I'm starting it over, doing it again. Um, your Zeus has big round pads with the off center 50 millimeter. This has uh, big round pads with a smaller opening and a 50 millimeter, but it's using a weird Japanese made driver voice coil thing. So they're like they're, they're upgraded the drivers. The headband itself is the one from the Athena. So it looks similar. Uh, you can see there's a different pin system, uh, wider metal on the old ones, so a stiffer clamp. This is less wide. Also, serial number 0001, serial number 13 on the Zeus. Um, comfort's not an issue. The pads being different pads, kind of a sad day, but I feel like we got more control with these. I will eventually get up the nerve to swap the pads and give that assessment, but not at this moment. Not until I know you could buy these to do that. Um, so during the other previous review, or the previous attempt at the review, I was like, oh my God, the pads, oh my God, the wire, oh my God, the sound. And putting on these for a while, and then swapping to this, and then leaving these on and swapping back to that, you notice that there's like a dulling effect on the old Zeus. The old Zeus cannot compete with detail and clarity. So I started thinking about the 109. Actually, someone mentioned a patron was like, if you're in the $10 chat for $10 a month, you could ask me questions like this. Zios, we don't know what this is gonna cost. Are they gonna be better than the Thyodio Ghost? And so the Thyodio Ghost is behind me. Thyodio Ghost is $130. And I'm like, well, it should be better. But then at the same fucking moment, I'm like, well, wait, I said the Thyodio Ghost was pretty much 90% of what it took to get to the Meza 109. So if it's better, if I'm saying this is better than the Ghost, then I got to know if this compares to the 109. And then when I was getting the pad set up to do this, I'm like, oh, fuck. I forgot about my NDH30, my $650 open back Germans that I love. So I decided to sit here and with all the different amplification I've gotten, I'll link to everything I've got going on here. It, Maybe the Ayama T9, but it has a lot of noise floor. But I have the TA22, which is a hybrid tube. I got the, the Aries and Black Ice, which is a full fucking crazy tube hybrid. Then we've got the Aoun uh, 9 S9C reference DAC, which has an amazing output. We've got this $2,400 CMA15 from Quest Style. And I got the Rebel Amp, which is now on sale for $5.99. They've dropped the price. Um, and I'm swapping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And these... Three headphones represent, what, $800, $650, presumably $500 or less. We'll find out when this video gets released publicly. Yay! Um, link in the description. These headphones present sound in different ways. But I will say this straight off the bat. Every one of these does something very unique to it. And I, I, I put them in order... Actually, if I put them in order of like soundstage, this would be the soundstage order. This has the least soundstage. This is like a monitoring headphone, like it's supposed to be, but it's just so much more engaging than a monitor headphone should be. Then we've got the Elite, the new boy. And it sounds like I was listening to, what's, that was the song was, Yoon Sun Na, which this woman doing that. And then the quieter parts, wait, wait. 
these sound like she's whispering in my ear. Where this sounds like it's presenting sound, this sounds like there's an actual human actually in my ear, actually whispering, and then I put on these, and it's everything is softer, everything is smoother. These are the cloud headphones. These absolutely retain their magic. We're not going to talk about the uh, the ghosts again until I, that's a whole other thing. But comparing to these these three, it goes very like here. Here's sound. It's here, and then these are like hey hear sound and these like ah oh, sound so i don't think they're interchangeable i could if you closed my eyes and played any song you wanted to i could tell you if the if the comfort if you numbed my ears so i couldn't feel it i'd be able to tell you exactly which one is which and doing what um did i mention that the elite by the way also doesn't just come with one of these crazy insane wires with the extremely light like uh alloy uh, connector it comes with up to a 3.5 millimeter it comes with two of them here's one that's a 4.4 and I don't remember if the box came with anything to convert it to a quarter inch so if you're using JDS lab stuff you're fucked or you got to buy an adapter which would basically be just one of these see us link to a quarter inch to four pin XLR or if you want to go really small a uh, quarter inch to 4.4 but so they're accessorizing this headphone with the, the glass carry case and not one, but two extremely fucking well-made headphone cables uh, better than most for the Elite. Uh, by the way, the uh, cable I'm using for the 109 um, has a Z-Reviews logo on it because I'll have a collab headphone cable at some point. This is the really, really short one. I'm kind of glad it's on the adapter. We'll, that's perfect for portability if you're going to go with anything portable. Um, all right, let's go back to the... You know what? Watch me clear the desk. This is gonna be magic. Are you ready, Power? Watch this, I'm gonna do a magic trick. Okay. So now that we've gotten rid of the riffraff, let's pay attention to the ones that are actually important. The ones that are on my head, these. So, as you can tell, they've changed the back uh, plating to be much more black. It kind of looks like something from Warhammer 40K, just saying. Um, darker wood, different pads, darker up here. Uh, slightly more flexible headband, a little bit more less less insane clamp than the Zeus, which didn't have insane clamp, but that's fine. Um, clarity. That's kind of what this is going for. If the 109s, which I'm not talking about anymore, they're gone, are like the just sit down, smooth, let me go, and the Neumanns, which I'm not talking about because they're gone too, although linked in the description, are like the like aggressively detailed but yet like enjoyable, then this is a perfect balance in the middle. The old Zeus is what we will talk about. I threw that back there as well. The old Zeus was the God King Emperor of fun headphones. Now take that, send it to school, clean it up. I put tuck in your fucking shirt. Then you have the elites. If you have the, the Zeus, and you think, Zeus, should I upgrade to the elites? That'll be the question that's posted in the, the thing, and it's gonna be waiting for an answer. So I'm gonna answer it right now. So I'm gonna just timestamp this. These are better than the Zeus. If you have both, if you have the, the ability to keep both in your lineup, there will be days when you're like, you know what? I just want less, a little less of what this has got going on, and that'll be the Zeus. Because what this has got going on is, is getting up there and competing with the clarity and the imaging and the staging of higher end headphones. And the Zeus sort of stuck out to me at least as like the fuck it, we're having fun headphone. So when you make something grow up and you make something elite, you, you, you lose a little bit of that, a little bit of that stank gets washed off and all of a sudden you're, I, I would have swapped to a Kobeni wallpaper if I had one, but I don't have one. Um, she's also a psycho. What do you think her thing is? I haven't looked it up. Don't spoiler it for me. Um, I think these headphones are going to be worth $500. Straight up. The build could be better. Like At $500, I would kind of expect this to all be metal. And I would kind of expect it to, to be a better headband than what's on the $200 Athena. But what Harmonic Dine is selling here, they're apologizing for the build with these wires, which frankly, I think a couple of you out there are just like, 
if this headphone is five hundred dollars and I buy it and I get these two wires, those wires, if I ordered them custom made online, would be one hundred and eighty dollars a piece. That would be three hundred and sixty dollars making these headphones only one hundred and forty dollars. Because that's how good these wires are. I'm going these these headphones are staying. They're going on the wall. And you know where these wires are going? On that wall where I pull them off every time I need to. In fact, I showed you my my uh, collab cable. It's not as nice as these. I'm wondering if they're going to sell them separately. Sell these separately, Harmonic Dine, because people will fucking buy them. Um, so they're making up for the, the lack of like an incredibly expensive, like all metal carbon fiber build with a case and some wires. And they're also making up for it in sound. It sounds like if it's 500, it sounds like a 500. It sounds like an improvement. It is a a vast, it's a mile wider of a gap over the original Zeus once you hone in on what you're listening for. When it's just treble and vocals and it's like you put on the Zeus and it's warm and soft. And you put these on and it's like, it's not as warm. It's not as soft. And then you go, holy fuck. And you start looking at your playlist. It's like, what How about this song? What about, what about Doc Returns from Back to the Future Part 3? What does that sound like? With the very, very gentle bells. By the way, my, my air conditioner is running because it's 90 degrees out today. So I have mini splits and my main whole house. So that's fun. Yeah, th this feels like a more grown up driver is put in this than the stock old Zeus. And I love the stock old Zeus. <laughs> and we could swap it around. I'm sorry, uncoil this. We could swap it around. I can't believe how light this is. And do a couple other different amplifiers. This is still, these are both hybrids. I don't have an actual true tube warmed up. That's not even plugged in, so. The low end. Let's talk about low end for a second. They they know. Oh my god. They know their origin story. Harmonic Dine knows that they can't just be like, well, we're just gonna make it fucking whatever. It'll be fine. They know they can't upset you by lowering the low end. Which, by the way, did I also mention that they uh they moved this slightly back and angled it over the original Zeus. I didn't think I mentioned that. They did that as well, which is an improvement. A nice, a, a welcome change. They didn't move it back super far, but they just gave it a little bit of like a forward. Oh, they also, it's harder to tell left and right, so I actually put some white patches back here because the R and L are on the outside and not the big ones on the inside, like on the standard uh, Zeus. So bass response. And we'll go to my bass playlist, even though it's playing so loud. And this is coming off a pocket and hybrid too, but it, I, I mean, I don't like to use the word luscious. No, yeah, I'm just lying. I love to use those luscious for everything. Like, how was your breakfast? Fucking luscious. Oh, that was up too loud. That was a quiet song previous. There's just enough. These, these absolutely feel like the more grown-up version. Because the Zeus, you notice the bass, it was at a certain level, but everything else was sort of down. It was like the treble was a little bit down, and mid-range was softer, and it was like you got the bass. So this has the same bass. Let's assume this has the exact same bass as the Zeus. But now you're adding in clearer mid-range, slightly higher amounts of treble, but not enough to murder you. Like it got to the point where I was like, is this gonna murder me? Is this, are you trying to murder me? And it never murdered me. It's one of, it's, it, it touches that level of like, we know where we want to stop. And then they stopped it. Harmonic Dine, they don't miss. I like the Athena. People are like, I don't like the Athena or they've heard it and they just, it didn't jive with them. Which is why when I said, when they were like, hey, you want to do a collab with Harmonic Dine? And they weren't going to offer me the elite Zeus. Like, that would be, that's that's some God tier shit. I'm not, I'm not that high up in the gods. My, the only God I could muster up is Eris from Konosuba. Um, well, she's great. Pads or chest or not, she's great. Um, 
something like that one because I feel like that semi-open has potential and I could do something with it. So I'm still doing stuff with it. I have to open it up and do some more tweaks. Uh, but this, this is done. This is a complete Yoshi Horikawa. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is a headphone. If you put it on someone who has no idea what good headphones are, you will fucking destroy them. This is one of those, like the old Zeus probably did that to several of you. If you in fact, if you were brought to this fucking weird community because Zeus, let me know. Because these will do it even harder. And if the price is right, and I, under 500 would be right, would be great. 500, I'm accepting of it. 499, I'm fine with it. 600, I'm less fine with it because you're almost at 109, like real 109, not ghost 109, like real 109 at 600. But if it's anything under 500, it's it's a it's a buy. It's a straight. It's a buy now. Buy fast. Buy hard. Buy before they run out of these fucking cables that are fantastic. I, they must have had to custom make this because that is so much wire coming out of the back of it. More Yoshi Horikawa. Let's see what else we got on here. Whoa, the imaging of that. Crossing from spaces. The fucking moped just went from left to right and it went, there's just traffic now. And it's perfect. This is, this is where it's enhancing. Where I didn't notice that in the Zeus. The Zeus was never like, oh, imaging. If you don't know imaging, I have to explain this every once in a while. It's where the sounds, it isn't just like, sound stage is like how far away, how big. Imaging is how accurate is this? Is it just going kind of left, kind of middle, kind of right? That's what shitty cheap earbuds, that's what original AirPo iPod, AirPods, the ones that just hung in your ears, the shit, things that are shit are just like, haha, left, haha, right, kind of middle. When you get real imaging, like really done right on studio monitors or your stereo or fucking headphones, things move in a perfectly fluid, balanced, linear path across your hearing. And these do that. Just that one song is all I needed. I was noticing it like like little, little taste of, in fact, I'm adding this to the, uh, new test for sound demos. If you haven't heard a sound demo in a while, if you want to hear a sound demo for these, it might not may not be out yet. Actually, did I do the sound demo for this? I may have done a sound demo for this. Um, it'll be only on Patreon. Uh, Patreon and subscribe star for $5, you get to the sound demos. All the sound demos previous and all new sound demos, and I film them here at the desk with video, and you get all the music I really want to play, and not the stuff that just is allowed on YouTube, and so you you can get that if you j jump in the support tier for me. Yeah, no, these are fucking fantastic. I mean, how could they not be? They're fucking Zeus, all right? I'm biased towards Zeus. Everyone who reviews anything, even if they measure shit, they're still biased because they have to read... A human is involved. They have to read the measurements and make their assessments and put that into words. Yes, you could see a thing, but it's like, but I think that's because... No. These absolutely deserve the name Zeus and the name Elite. I would have gone with Ultra. I would personally have gone with Ultra. But um, that'll be something else. That's, that's more of a me thing. You know. And please, for the love of God, Yoshi Horikawa. In fact, Zeus, future Zeus, in the descriptions of this, please link his. He's on Bandcamp. So you'll be able to get, I bought that album, Spaces on Bandcamp. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just, you get to name your own price usually and even pay more for something if you really like it. And, uh, or you can just get this one song if you want to pay like two bucks. Yoshi Horikawa's Crossing is, I'm not even at the part that's got like the full beat yet. Go rock, go rock, rock, go rock, rock, go rock. That's what it sounds like. Um, the only thing I would change is I would up the build quality. Like they got, Harmonic Dine made the G200s. They've, that's all fucking metal. It's carbon fiber top, which I actually don't like the carbon fiber headband on the G200 anymore because it doesn't sit right. But I know that's 700 bucks and it came with the glass case and the multiple wires. And the, 
So I know they're capable of upping the build. They're just going to get out of this. When they get out of this, like, standard cup shape, because this is still wood, um... I feel like they're gonna have, this is gonna, this doesn't feel like a $500 IM. But from looks and fucking sound, we are there. We're, we are down to clown. And f it's not even that real hard to drive. I'm on 50 out of 100 here. I do have, actually wait, did I have this on here? I did. I'm on low gain. Let me pop, just pop this over to medium. Just give you a little bit of a gain comparison. Oh, yeah, yeah. On medium, we're down. On low, a little past noon. And then because I have it here and you want to know, let's lower the shit out of that. The 15. It was just a slight flavor change, by the way, I should point out. Like, because how dependent on an amps is it? It's really not. It's really not. This one does things, but the Aries is fucking weird in a way that you have to go watch the review of the Aries. It's not out yet because I haven't filmed it yet, but it's not out yet. But watch the review of the Aries. It, it seems to not care like a lot, like a class A versus like a tube hybrid versus like that. It's like they're just it's all it still hits tens on every fucking mark. Jesus. And then we got the dirt chamber sessions from Prodigy. Get some 90s up in here. So anyway, yeah. Um, thank you, Linsell, for sending me pair 0001. Uh, I will cherish it forever. Literally forever. Like, I'm never selling the Zeus, and I'll never sell these. And they're going to come out now, and they're going to be fucking shut. I'll, I'll probably never plug this wire into it again, because this wire will be end up permanently on something else that's just needs this look, because it really doesn't match. As much as I love these wires, it, it is not a matching wire to that. Um... But yeah, links to this. Links to the original, the OG Zeus. Links to the other headphones I had out here. I'll link to all the amplifiers I got here. Wallpapers in the wallpaper hoard. If you want all the wallpapers, you got to do Resilio Sync. I did a review of that on my second channel where I do software reviews, and I got to go back to that. Patreon and subscribe star. I've mentioned it throughout the video. $5 lets you get to sound demos. So if you want to hear these, even though Golden Sound tweeted like yesterday, uh, please don't listen to sound demos. Please don't. And I'm just like, that's half the fun is the sound demos. Because you you at home aren't just going to throw money at this, and I wouldn't buy something personally that I haven't heard, even a shitty sound demo of. So, you know, I'm filling in a demand that I would like. Um, but yeah, sound demos. You got access to everyone that ever existed and the new ones, uncensored, in multiple ways. Uh, participate in yard sales, which if I was going to sell something, I'd find something else. I wouldn't sell anything Harmonic Dyne so far. I, maybe there was a Harmonic Dyne IM. I think I sold once. It was, it was, but uh, yeah, so that's $5 a month. You get to the yard sale. We'll ship things internationally if you win. Um, and then you get to see reviews early. You get to see this review a couple days early. I'm. It's getting like, it's it's the 13th. This is getting released in the 17th. So hello from the, the 13th. I'm from the past. Ooh, has the world melted yet? Have we had that really bad Northeast thunderstorm that they keep fucking talking about? It happened already. Um, for $10 a month, you get in the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat. You get all these other benefits. Also get in that chat. You get to ask me questions directly like, hey, Zeos, how does this compare to the to the ghost? It does not. This is, this is, this is way more focused on giving you like every taste of detail where the ghost is sort of like sit back and relax, just like the fucking 109s are sit back and relax. And I, I really got to listen to the Neumanns more because I lost that wire for the Neumanns for months. For three months, I haven't been able to play with my Neumanns. And I'm like, fuck, I really want to compare them to this video. You know where it was? It was stuck in that hanging down. It was just stuck right right there for months. Just, I can't believe I found it. I was like, god damn it. Oh, here it is. Fucking wild. Um, yeah, what was I saying? $10 a month. Oh, if you're in the $10 chat ever. If you pay $10 to be in the chat ever, you can pay for a whole year and you get a discount on Patreon. Um, Subscribestar, I don't think, does discount rates like that. But if you pay for a year, you also get into a Swap Me channel for life. So if you buy, you can buy, sell, and trade gear with other members, and you're in that forever, no matter what you do, no matter how much you hate me. You just be like, I'm in there and I'm cool. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.